In BikeCAD version 7, when you click on the color palette, you can assign any color you like to pretty much any element of the bike. By default, if you pick on an element such as the first paint color, you bring up the default color palette, allowing you to select from swatches, hue saturation and brightness, red, green, and blue values, or the advanced tab, which allows you to adjust the transparency of the color and or overlay an image on that color as well. Select from a variety of image files. Like you can actually add your own images to that folder. Images can be tiled across the area or they can be stretched to fit to the width of the area and or to the height of the area. In this example, let's choose the banana image file and overlay that on the red paint. Alternatively, you can configure BikeCAD Pro so that certain paint colors will be associated with some other palette of color. For example, the RAL color system. Here you can see we've got the entire RAL color system to select from. BikeCAD has determined the nearest match for the color we started with. Color scheme. We can just, for example, pick a different color here, and there we go, it applies it. Alternatively, palette of colors. The third color, for example, is associated with a palette of colors that I had set up earlier, just for demonstration purposes. And my palette can not only include various colors, but those colors can also have images overlaid on them. You can see I'll just cycle through some of the options I've set up here. As a further example, I've prepared another color scheme that I'm going to apply to the saddle. When you click on the saddle, demonstration, I have a variety of different leather colors, but each of these colors have sort of a leather texture overlaid upon them. This example actually relies on a common leather image file, but the transparency has been set to mid-level so that the color underneath the image file is showing through. To configure your own palettes and or to assign palettes to certain colors, what you do is you go to the View Customize dialog box, scroll down to the Paint tab. Here, as with other tabs in this section, we can turn on or off the control of various elements. Say we want to simplify our interface and not have so many choices, we can disable choices by unchecking the boxes. But getting back to the task at hand, which is to assign a color palette to a particular color on the frame. Note in this scroll section here, we have all the different elements in our BikeCAD model which we can assign color to. The first color of the frame is configured to use the default color template plus transparency plus image overlay. The second color on our frame is currently configured to use the English version of the RAL color scheme. The third is configured to use the Tutti Frutti color scheme, which I had set up earlier just for demonstration purposes. To create your own color scheme, you can simply take one of the ones that we have here, or you can create an entirely new color scheme. Now here we need to give it a name. I'll call it my sample color scheme. BiCAD brings up this spreadsheet like interface where we can add additional colors. I could create a, a red color, assign that color an RGB value. RGB values must lie somewhere between 0 and 255. For a pure red, we would want 255 for red, 0 for green, and 0 for blue. You can also assign transparency, which can lie between 0 and 255. 0 means totally opaque, 255 means totally transparent. You can check the box if you'd like to apply an image to your particular color. And if you do choose an image, 
you can select from the list of image files here. These image files are stored in a directory in your configuration folder and you can add images to that folder. They'll automatically appear in this drop-down menu. You can choose here whether to tile the image, whether to fit it to the width or to the height, and or to maintain the aspect ratio of the image. Once you've added and deleted colors to your satisfaction, you can hit Save Settings, and once you restart BikeCAD, that color scheme will be available in your drop-down menu, and you'll be able to assign it to the elements of your bike.